Ah oh, yes, the old debate about how much system memory is enough. Should you get 16? Should you get 32? Should you get maybe 64? Now, in most of the systems that I've built, most of the systems that I have bought, I try to get at minimum 16 gigabytes. And that's what you should be looking at, especially if it is a gaming rig. And then I guess even more importantly, if you're gaming and you're using that same computer system for productivity tasks. But big question here is, is 32 gigabytes and especially is 64 gigabytes overkill? Remember, if you're enjoying my content, please do everything that's up here. Like, share, subscribe, of course, hit that notification bell and comment. So most games recommend 16 gigabytes. So generally speaking, if you have a system and all you're doing on it is gaming, then 16 gigabytes should be enough. However, 32 gigabytes is a sweet spot because you can have a few tabs open in your browser. You can have a few more things open. You can still play games, keep it all open and everything will work really well. And I would personally recommend myself, if you're building a computer system, if you're buying a pre-built system, get one that has at least 32 gigabytes. Why would you get one that has 64 gigabytes? Well, I would only recommend you get 64 gigabytes if you want to have bragging rights or <laughs> you are doing super professional tasks where you have a million things open and professional applications and programs that require that much memory. And of course, some people need even more than this, but typically, no, gamers don't need to have 64 gigabytes in their computer systems. And here is something a lot of people don't think about. The more memory, the more of anything you have, the more problems you will probably have. For example, you might have to lower the speed of the memory if you have more of it, because the more memory you have, the more chances you have of it failing. And if memory starts to fail, of course, the system starts to act erratic and things crash and you don't want that to happen. So to sum all this up, consider your use case. If you are just gaming, 16 gigabytes should be enough. I would recommend 32 though, because you can game and you can do some other things on that computer system. And well, if you're doing mostly productive, demanding tasks on your computer system and not gaming so much, you could go with 64. Just keep in mind the fact that the more memory you get, the more possibility that the memory could be a little bit unstable, especially if you want to tweak it and overclock it. And there are situations where you will have to actually decrease the speed, the timings, and everything of the memory to get the system stable when you go with 64 gigabytes and higher.